as we head into the overnight hours, we will start to see these temperatures drop just a bit more. We're going to see those overnight lows in the low 50s. Currently sitting at 55 Nocatee, the same over in Port Charlotte, a little bit warmer just south of the Caloosahatchee. So 62 over at Whiskey Creek and 61 over in Fort Myers. Down in Collier County sitting at 64 over in Naples and 62 over in Orange Street. Live radar sweeping across nice and clear for all of us. So we're not seeing any rain and we will remain dry as we head into the overnight hours with those overnight lows dipping into the low 50s as I mentioned. So waking up tomorrow morning, you absolutely will want that jacket. We had a cold front move through that was last night into this morning now to the south of us and we're not done with the cold fronts though out to the west. You can see an area of low pressure developing. So that means we're dry tonight and we will be dry as we head into your Monday and sunny and then we'll start to see that cloud coverage build in as the front gets closer to us. This is going to be a Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday. We will see widespread rain and also some stormy conditions as we could see some isolated storms mix into that forecast and then we'll dry out as we head into your Wednesday. So with these fronts coming through, it's definitely an up down with our weather. So overnight low is going to be in the low 50s. Tomorrow, plenty of sunshine. High is going to be in the mid to upper 70s. Pretty on par with our average high of 77. We typically see this time of the year. Not a bad day to get out on the boat. It's a holiday week. A lot of people have family in town. But do keep in mind it will be breezy tomorrow with the winds coming out of the east northeast anywhere between 5 and 15 knots gusts even higher seas 2 to 4 feet and a moderate chop on your inland waters. I do want to time out the rain for you as it is a holiday week. So we will be dry tomorrow morning and through your lunch hour tomorrow afternoon into the evening. We'll start to see that cloud coverage build in, but we will be dry for Monday and then Tuesday. The cloud coverage does linger around and we're not expecting rain to slow you down if you're headed out the door to work. But right around three o'clock is when we'll start to see the rain from the front move through becoming more widespread. A few isolated storms mixing into the forecast into the evening and drying out by Wednesday morning. Then we have another cold front on the way. Thursday into Friday, we're looking like a 30 to 40% chance of rain for then. But Tuesday, you saw a 70% chance of rain. So that is the day we're expecting more widespread rain. So make sure that any plants you have outdoors, you keep your eye to the sky Tuesday night. So here's what you need to know for your seven day forecast. Big cool down coming with that last cold front. Tomorrow, we'll see plenty of sunshine, a high of 77. Tuesday into Wednesday, breezy with storms later in the day. High still going to be in the upper 70s, your mid work week. It's Thursday into Friday. Showers are possible with that next cold front. And then that cold front is going to bring us an Arctic blast. Overnight lows will be in the low to mid 40s. Christmas weekend, our highs in the upper 50s. Time